Another designer album just came into the studio today for one of my clients. This album is for Jamie and David, and it's an Italian seamless album with a brushed metal cover. And you can see there's a photograph printed directly on that cover, which gives a beautiful luminescent finish. When we open the book, we see that the cover is actually a solid metal cover, uh, which is obviously very durable, and the binding is a really nicely designed, very ha a handmade binding that will last a lifetime. When we open the book, uh, the inside cover is a nice fabric finish, and the first spread that we look at, we'll look at the uh, way the, this book is different from the earlier Flush Mount album. Uh, this book is a seamless spread which allows two, uh, as many images as we want to be laid out over a double page spread. And um, that's very different because there's no split down the image. This is a true photograph, in this case a metallic print, uh, that is folded um, and allows unlimited design. Now Jamie got ready at her uh, parents' new house in uh, West Kelowna and we did some glamour poses, uh, candids with her mom putting on her jewelry, um, and also her dad arriving. So there was a mixture of photography throughout this album. Jamie and David selected a large number of images that they really wanted to put in. Everything from journalistic to candids to glamour and traditional poses as well. So we have a mix of images throughout, both with black and white backgrounds, uh, color, black and white, and toned images. Then we feature the bridesmaids getting ready and a group of them inside the home before they leave to the ceremony. Now at the ceremony, um, we always have a second photographer arrive there, either with the guys um, or just uh, before the guys arrive. And this, in this case, we got uh, stage right, etc., setting up the decor and one of the harpists setting up her music as well. Uh, and details of the decor throughout. So there's always two points of view through the ceremony from both myself and my second photographer. Um, in this case, uh, we had the second photographer in, in an overhead aerial view, which you'll see in a minute, and myself at ground level, but capturing every uh, moment possible um, to give a full storyline. And what we like, I like to feature is images as large as possible, um, not a cluttered design, just more of a, a sort of a magazine, I almost call it a Vogue design, where um, it just really is a glossy finished look that has a beautiful presentation that focuses on the images alone without a lot of distractions. So everything from details to showing the action of everything that's happening. capture as much laughter and fun and emotion as possible. There's an aerial view from the overhead photographer as well as details that happen throughout the wedding. So um, each design is done in a very unique way by myself. Um, it's not fixed or from a template. Uh, you get to review any design before it ever goes to print. Uh, this page is really nice because it uses a couple, a number of um, images that have a very narrow depth of field which allows uh, the ring to stay in focus and everything else to blur out and uh, really provides an emphasis on the subject that I want to. Summerhill is a beautiful location with all the vineyards behind um, and pretty unobstructed background. So we also had large groups and family groups that they wanted to include in their book both in color and black and white. Details and little moments that most people may have not seen. More formal wedding party shots, but then we really get into what I enjoy where um, the, the wedding party groups are more just um, candid, but really, you know, just real, having fun and making the whole, a whole day a blast to be a part of. featuring the architecture there at Summer Hill, using a beautiful uh, classic car. Now this is a little bit formal, but it does it in a little, with a little bit more of a modern fashion edge to it, 
and using as many elements as I find that are unique that day. You can see the reflections in the pool below, um, the architecture, the green, uh, obviously bringing a little bit of blue into the sky when possible, and lighting their faces as well as possible. In this case, we just, I mean, the wedding party just started to have a blast and have fun and uh, just there to capture it and encourage them to go a little bit further. Some uh, couples portraits getting into some more uh, beauty and glamour images for the bride as well as some intimate moments between the two of them. The last few wedding party groups and then for the rest of the shoot I like to allow the couple to have time alone and really allow that time to be a special part of their wedding day and have me just capture it with as minimal direction as possible. Using the vineyards, using old heritage, heritage buildings, um, using beautiful lighting, we take portable studio strobes and, and reflectors uh, everywhere we go just to produce the most flattering portraits possible. Now they entered the reception immediately after this and they had the small dinner reception at Summer Hill um, where we produced obviously more of a photojournalistic approach um, and just looked for both emotions and storytelling images. Details of food and decor featuring both architectural and location images to really complete the storyline. And it's always great to try to plan a sunset portrait session just because it allows a lot of flexibility for creative lighting, uh, soft backgrounds, unique colors, and again, another time for the couple to have uh, some intimate moments together. We did a couple night portraits before they entered their evening reception for the dinner or for the dancing and toasts. So their final uh, little celebrations and uh, dancing. And a mix of portraits of her and her new husband, the parents dancing, just as many emotive, memorable moments as possible. And just end it with one classic beautiful uh, kiss dance image. And the book ends just how it started with a beautiful fabric uh, inner cover and fully bound with a leather or leatherette binding. You can see that as well, beautifully constructed and matching slip cover just finishes it off well. It's a nine and a half by 13 inch book, which was a small upgrade they decided to, uh, Jamie and David decided to do to make the book just have a little bit more uh, physical impact being a little bit larger. So I hope they uh, enjoy the album. I'm just going to ship it out today and uh, I'm going to give you guys a view of this online.